It is I, the drooling bat with a Z. Hello, thanks for stopping by. I just briefly wanted to cover the difference between a character-based horror story and a phenomenon-based horror story. Um, I briefly mentioned that in a couple of my reviews and I realized I didn't want to make my reviews super long by talking about them there, so I just thought I'd cover it here um, in case anyone was interested, because I'm sure a, someone out in the world maybe will be. Um, basically, all horror stories, you know, viral horror stories, horror novels, horror movies, etc., pretty much all of them can be categorized as either character-based or phenomenon-based. Basically, here are some examples and like what that means because honestly, they do make a difference in my opinion what they are. Character-based horror movies tend to focus on the experiences of one specific character rather than like a whole group. Usually, that one person, their mental state is like affecting the story, like how they perceive things affects what goes on. Um, usually you can like visibly see their mental state changing in like a specific way as the movie goes on. Backstories often play into how these movies unfold and like personal character traits. For example, if there's a ghost in a house and it pops out and like every single person screams, that's kind of the natural reaction that you would expect that's really not necessarily like a character driven movie whereas if a ghost popped out and it just focused on like one woman screaming and not the others it's more focused on her reaction that's probably going to be a character based movie usually usually the big example i can think of that most people would recognize in some form or another would be the film rosemary's baby with mia farrow cute short haired girl the movie is obviously about some crazy stuff happening to this lady, but the big question is, is it actually happening or is she imagining it? What steps is she going to take specifically to like help her baby or protect her baby? Is it her baby? Blah, blah, blah. All of this stuff. And kind of watching her as she like moves through this crazy story, she is basically the focus, not really the fact that she is having a baby. It's more that Rosemary is doing stuff and gonna be having the baby. Phenomenon-based horror movies are a little bit different. They tend to be less focused on like these specific characters and more on the actual weird thing that is happening. Generally, you could take any character in a phenomenon-based horror movie and replace them with some random character. Like you could literally take like Mr. Spock from Star Trek and like plug him into this equation somewhere and it still wouldn't really be that remarkable because the characters are not the focus and generally they do not react in like overly unique ways usually because the focus is on the phenomenon. For example, The Exorcist is an example that I think everybody would recognize um, in some way or another. If you've never seen it, I mean you can Wikipedia it, but pretty much the bone dry version of this is that a woman who's a movie star, her daughter gets possessed by some kind of crazy demon. They see her like deteriorating really fast and they have to call a priest to exorcise the creature from her. Obviously like the priest has his own issues and the mom has her issues, all of that, but the focus really is less on them as much as it's on like the special effects like the girl like her head spinning all the way around like levitating and vomiting and like the swearing and like pretty much all of those little things popping out the focus is more on the phenomenon of this girl getting possessed rather than like oh this girl specifically is getting possessed if that makes sense generally different people have different tastes um if you're a fan of alfred hitchcock Generally, people prefer character-based movies because he did a lot of character-based movies. It's pretty rare for character and phenomenon movies to come together in like equal parts. It'll like obviously there are unique characters in phenomenon movies and there are some really crazy stuff that happen in character movies. So I'm not saying like that's the bones dry version of it, but essentially whether it's character-based or phenomenon-based is more how the story is told to the viewer. For example, with movies, how it's filmed has a lot of impact on what kind of story it will be. For example, um, 
The Alfred Hitchcock film The Birds, perhaps you've heard of it. It could have been a phenomenon-based movie, absolutely. These birds being crazy, I mean, come on. What? If you've ever read the short story that The Birds is based on, that is completely phenomenon-based. It focuses almost entirely its narration on the descriptions of the birds and the characters trying to figure out what is going on, rather than like, oh, well, these birds are being weird, but also I'm having marital problems or something. The movie of the birds, obviously they had to change a lot just because special effects were different back in those days, and they made it set in America, which was different too. But um, when Alfred Hitchcock did it, he added a lot of like tension between the son and his mother having this like mother complex thing, and the mother being like, oh, after your father died, blah, blah, blah. And they ended up making it a character-based movie. Like this gal who like literally shows up where all the birds are being psycho, literally like chased a hot dude down in a convertible because she thought he was cute. So she's like, I'll just bring in these birds as a gift, LMAO. Like, come on. Like, you know, it was very character-based. I'm not shading Alfred Hitchcock. Like, obviously he's a great director. Because I had known the original story first, I was kind of put off that it was changed so much. Um, but that's like an example of someone kind of blending the two together. The phenomenon was so unusual and so distinctive. There are some movies and shows and things that kind of effectively blend them together, but ultimately it's usually one or the other. Different people have different preferences. When I'm reading a horror story or something, to me what is scarier is when you don't necessarily know the circumstances of the characters. Obviously you want to know a little bit about what's going on with them, but we know that this one character like is being haunted by someone and that's so scary. Oh my gosh, that's very scary. But then it's like, oh well it turns out like I literally played with a Ouija board. Ha 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 ha. That's why they're haunting me. It's like, well, okay, that's less scary to me just because it's like, well, I wouldn't play with the Ouija board, so I'm not worried about that. You know, like things like that. So different people find different things compelling. And, you know, like, it, for example, um, movies that kind of focus on like mental illness tend to be way more character driven just generally. Um, and like people who like have intense experience with mental illness, like someone in their family is like severely mentally ill or like they're battling some kind of thing themselves will often be more scared of that than like home invasion or something, which home invasions tend to be more phenomenon based. Usually movies about like home invasions or haunted houses are phenomenon based, if that makes sense. And oftentimes movies about like witches, movies about vampires sometimes, oftentimes other unexplained, inexplicable things, those tend to be more character based. I made this little discussion just because I realized in several of my reviews I've mentioned that, oh, this is phenomenon based or, oh, this is character based when I'm reviewing a movie and talking about it, just because that's the kind of information I look for when I pick out a movie. But I realized not everybody calls it that, so I'm just making this so if you watch my other reviews, you'll know what I'm talking about. Or if you already knew what I was talking about, but you weren't super sure what I meant, hopefully this will clarify that for you. Yeah, hope you have a great evening or day. I don't know your schedule. Hope you have a great life. Which do you like better? Do you like character-based or phenomenon-based? And like, do you have a reason for liking that or is it just how it is? I don't know. Please share your thoughts with me. Please also consider subscribing if you like what I'm doing, but no pressure, obviously. Have a great rest of your life. <laughs> Bye. This has been Twilbets.